Hi and welcome to this Namecheap tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to see how to install WordPress on your shared hosting plan. As you can also look at the WordPress, the managed WordPress hosting solution, and these are the pricing for that. So if you want WordPress only, then this is a better solution for you if you're sure that you only want to run WordPress. However, if you have the shared hosting, let's see how you can install WordPress. So a breakdown of what we're going to do in this video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how you can change the DNS settings for your domain so that it points to the cloud, it points to the name chip hosting servers. And then number two, you're going to see how to install WordPress. And then I'm going to change the WordPress theme. And then after that, I'm going to show you how you can use a plugin to set up a child theme. So if you're running WordPress, you've got to have a child theme. You must run a website with your child theme because without a child theme, you lose any changes that you make to that to that WordPress theme. So let's get started right away. And if you don't know your cPanel password, password and you can log in into your cPanel using your domain name slash cPanel. But if you don't know your cPanel password, just log into Namecheap and then come into the domain that you want to work with and go into manage. Click on manage. And for me, I want to work with this domain because this is a domain. This is the domain that has hosting. OK, so you can look at the products for every domain. And for me, if I come here under products, you'll see that my domain has hosting as well. So this is the only domain that has that. So we need to change the name servers and the name servers are what's going to tell the internet where to go when people visit our domain. So to change your name servers, just go back to domain. And then if you scroll down, you're going to see this section that says this section that says name servers. So here under name servers, you need to choose the name servers for Namecheap. So for me, my domain is being hosted by Namecheap and therefore I'm just going to I'm just going to select Namecheap web hosting dns so that's the one that you need to choose if you're not you're not being hosted on namecheap use custom dns and then use the the name servers for that other for that other hosting platform so maybe you're using bluehost you can use the ns1.bluehost.com ns2.bluehost.com and then you'll click there to save but since you're using namecheap shared hosting you'll just choose that and then click on save and you may need to give it some time so that it can propagate and as soon as it propagates you will be able to access your site so the next thing of course we want to do is we want to go to the cpanel and then see how to install wordpress so for that i'm just going to i'm just going to come here under products and then here you can see i have hosting i can click on i can just click there and then i'll go to the cpanel and that's going to redirect me to the cpanel and i won't even have to log in so i'm just going to read get redirected to the cpanel and once we're here the next thing we need to do is we need to install wordpress so let's just scroll down and find the installer software installer so here under software installer i'll just i'll just click there wordpress manager by softaculous so i'm just going to i'm going to click on that and this allows me to install wordpress step by step so i'm just going to click there and i'm going to click on install and i will be able to choose all the details all the settings that i need for my wordpress choose the version you want to install of course you want to install the latest and currently 5.53 is the latest version of wordpress just choose the latest version there and then installation url and for me i'm going to choose so i don't know if my website already has ssl but even if it doesn't i can do that in another video how to set it up so i'm just going to choose that domain and this is just a sample domain with this sample hosting that i use for tutorial purposes so i'm going to set up that leave that as it is the domain name choose your domain name if you have multiple domain names you can choose the domain names that are connected to this hosting right there and then site name let me just call it bizanosa sample this is just a sample website site description and then enable multi-site no we don't need multi-site we'll not enable that and then admin account enter your admin details and of course you, you never want to use this use something that is unique all right so maybe if your name is jonathan or something you can try and find a way to use that as a as a secure username maybe you can use something like so this is Joe 1998. Maybe you were born in 1998. You can use this as your username, Joe 1998. And password, of course, you want a strong password. 
and then your admin email you can enter your admin right there and then choose a language of course you want english if you're not if you're not an english speaker then perhaps you want to choose the different language from there for your wordpress and then select plugin which plugin login attempts oh, okay yeah we can we can use that classic editor no we don't need that uh, none of this we need cache oh i will not be using this plugin for my cache and what else database you can give the database a name this is going to get created automatically so you can just give it a different name and you can see this is a very simple name so you may want to make it more secure and maybe you can just add something at the end of it just make sure that it's secure and then the table prefix of course table prefix you want it to be something different maybe everybody's getting this so let's remove that And then table prefix, make it something that's different from this. So the table prefix is just a security measure for your databases as well. So you can just put in something there that's unique. Disable update notification emails. So this, I will disable this because WordPress will automatically do updates for me. Nowadays, WordPress does that. So I'm going to disable that auto upgrade and of course i always want my wordpress to run the latest version so i will upgrade to the latest version which is a major release and then auto upgrade wordpress plugins this i can do within the wordpress this i'll just check this but within wordpress this is also this is also doable it automatically happens in wordpress nowadays backup location you can set up a backup if you want to set this up you can set up a local folder and default so when you come back here once you've installed the wordpress you'll see where your backups are just come back into managing your managing your your wordpress installation just click the same steps that we followed you'll see where your wordpress backups are and then automated backups you can back up maybe once a month and then backup rotation we want to keep only two instances of our of our backups so here I see I can choose a theme. I'm going to do this within WordPress. I don't have to do that here. I'm just going to I'm just going to click on install. Go through go through everything you've set up up there and then just click on install. Make sure you can remember your username and you can remember your password and use a real email address because if you use a fake email address, you may not be able to log into your WordPress if you forget your if you forget your password. So you can use that to to send a reset link for your password. So make sure everything is okay is correct up there and then just click on install and give it time to finish this and the moment it's done we're going to go back and log into wordpress so you can see i received this error because i already have ht access in my file manager but this is not an issue i'll just click there select this checkbox to overwrite all files and continue and then we're going to scroll all the way down and then click on install so just give it time to finish up and then We'll continue once we log into our dashboard. All right, so there you go. You can see WordPress has been installed. So if I go here, you can see that our WordPress is installed. So I can log in. Let me, if you want to log into your WordPress, you can just go into your website slash WP admin. WP hyphen admin. Once you enter the correct password and email or username, you will be able to access your dashboard. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to install a new theme. So I'm going to go into appearance, themes, and I will just go up here and click on, and click on add new. So here I'm just going to search for Astra. I will install and I want to go into plugins and let me look for a plugin that can allow me to create a child theme because I don't want to do this manually and let me just install this one once we create the child theme I'm going to delete it so I will activate and 
where is it so if you come here under tools and you go into child themes then select action create a new child theme leave it at create a new child theme and then we want to create one for astra and then i will analyze and you can call it wherever i'll just call it i'll just leave it as astra child that's the name of the folder that will be in your wordpress select where to save new styles primary style sheet style.css yes leave that as it is use wordpress for this one for this part i will use the first option because i want the i want them to be enqueued in the functions folder and that's pretty much it i don't need to change anything else and you can change the attributes created by name and so on name of the theme and so much more i don't want to do that but you can change that there so i'm just going to create to create the new child theme and as soon as i do i can come here under appearance themes and astro child i will activate this theme And I don't need all these other themes, so I can just delete them. Theme details. Delete. Theme details. Delete. Even that, I can delete. All right. So you've seen how you can install the child theme. So you can end the video there or you can just watch me create my homepage, a very simple homepage, just to tell people that this is to tell people that this is just a sample website. And while I'm there as well, I also want to I also want to add the menu URL for my website so that if people want to go there, they can go there as well. And I'm going to do that at some point. So add title. And you can just add anything here. So paragraph. And we can make this a title. Change that into a heading. And then here, maybe you can just add an image. Let me see if there's any here in the library. All right, nothing. So, and then here, perhaps I can add a button. And we can say and then we'll add the link and you want to add any other things you can add them there but i'm just going to leave it at that and then publish publish and you can visit the page all right so maybe you don't want that let's see if we can remove if we can remove that We want no sidebar. Reload. And you can just leave it at that. And we want to add the menu item there. Menu, create menu. Let's create a menu. Let's call it main menu. Create the menu and then 
Now you can add pages to this menu. So welcome, I will add that to the main menu. And we can call it home. And we can also add custom link. And then I will add to menu. And save the menu. Okay, so I need to set this as the primary menu. And when I reload, it should give me that. Okay, so something else that's also very important once you install WordPress and I forgot to talk about is you need to come here under permalinks, settings, permalinks. And you need to change to something that is user friendly like that. And then I can save the changes. And I also need to go into, I also need to go into reading settings. Um, static page, home page, we'll make it the welcome page, ports page, we'll just make it the sample page, and then save changes. So you can go ahead and learn how to use WordPress on your own. And that's it for this video. In this video, you've seen how to install WordPress and how you can use it, how you can try and tweak your WordPress website. So that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you next time in another video. If you do have any questions, feel free to let me know.